Have you ever been stuck in traffic behind one of those giant concrete mixer trucks, watching the massive drum spinning endlessly, and wondered, why is that thing always turning? Is it just for show, or does it serve a deeper purpose? In this video, we're diving into the fascinating world of concrete mixer trucks. We'll break down how they work, why that drum never seems to stop spinning, and the science behind getting concrete from the batching plant to a construction site, still fresh and ready to pour. Let's start with the basics. Concrete is a mixture, a blend of cement, water, sand, and aggregates like gravel or crushed stone. When combined, these ingredients form a paste that begins to harden through a chemical process called hydration. Here's the tricky part. Once the cement contacts water, the chemical reaction starts almost immediately. That means the clock is ticking. If not properly handled, the concrete can set or harden right inside the truck, turning a piece of expensive machinery into a giant rock-filled paperweight. So how do we stop that from happening? A concrete mixer truck, also known as a transit mixer, is engineered with one main goal, to keep concrete in motion. The heart of the truck is the mixing drum, which is mounted at an angle and rotates constantly. Inside the drum, spiral-shaped blades, known as flights, are welded along the inner wall. These blades serve two purposes, mixing and discharging. When the drum rotates in one direction, usually clockwise, the blades push the concrete deeper into the drum, mixing the ingredients thoroughly. This is known as the charging or mixing direction. When the drum reverses counterclockwise, those same blades push the concrete toward the opening at the back, allowing it to pour out. This is called discharging. But here's the important part. That drum has to keep spinning to prevent the concrete from separating and setting. If it stops for too long, the aggregate sinks, the cement paste rises, and the mix becomes unusable, or worse, it hardens. Concrete doesn't start its life inside the truck. It begins at a batching plant, where ingredients are measured and loaded, either as a wet mix or, in some cases, a dry mix that combines inside the truck. From there, the mixer truck has a short window, typically 60 to 90 minutes, to deliver the concrete to its destination. During this time, the drum must keep turning, usually at a slow speed, to ensure the mix remains homogeneous. This constant rotation is why you'll always see the drum spinning, even while the truck is idling in traffic. It's not just turning, it's preserving the material inside, keeping it from becoming a solid block of waste. Modern mixer trucks are more sophisticated than they look. The driver can control the speed and direction of the drum using a hydraulic system operated from the cab or a control panel at the back. Some trucks also have water tanks mounted on board, allowing the operator to add small amounts of water to maintain workability, though this has to be done carefully to avoid weakening the mix. Newer models may even feature GPS tracking, mix monitoring systems, and automated slump adjustment to ensure the concrete meets the exact requirements for the job site. Now, let's answer the big question. What happens if the drum stops spinning? The answer is simple and costly. The concrete inside will begin to set. Once that happens, it becomes extremely difficult to remove. In some cases, construction crews have had to jackhammer hardened concrete out of the drum or even right off the entire truck. This is why you'll sometimes hear stories of drivers pulling over to avoid traffic or rerouting entirely, just to keep the concrete moving and make the delivery on time. So the next time you see a concrete mixer truck rumbling by, remember that spinning drum isn't just turning for fun. It's a race against time, chemistry, and gravity to keep one of the world's most essential building materials in perfect condition. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, Subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss future deep divies into the machinery that builds our world.